Hey guys, welcome to another mod review on this channel. Today I'm going to show you the new Alcocraft mod for Forge Minecraft version 1.18.2 and 1.19. This mod adds a new plant as well as a mechanic to brew and drink alcoholic beverages. So let's get started. First we'll take a look at the new plant which is required for every drink included in the mod. You can obtain seeds for hop by destroying grass. Afterwards you can place these seeds by right clicking on the bottom of a block of your choice. Later, after some time, the plant will slightly change its look. If that happens, you can right click the plant and collect your hop. For many drinks included in the mod you will also need dry weed seeds. You can obtain them by smelting normal weed seeds. Let's move on to how you can brew your drinks. The mod adds a new keg in which you can insert 4 different items. By changing the combination of items you put into the keg, you can currently brew 12 different types of drinks, which will give you a variety of effects. For the brewing process to start you need to add water into the keg by right clicking with water buckets on it. Then you can insert the item combination necessary for the drink you want to brew. I recommend installing just enough items, so you can easily look up all the recipes. After adding water and the items, it will take 15 minutes for the brewing process to finish. Next, you can extract the drinks by right-clicking on the keg with an empty mug. You can craft a mug using wooden planks. You are able to place the mugs on the ground or drink your brewed beverage if you want to. The Sun Pale Ale Mug will give you regeneration, the Digger Bitter Mug will give you haste, the Nether Porter Mug will give you fire resistance, the Wither Stout will give you Wither Touch, the Magnet Pilsa Mug will give you attraction, the Drowned Ale Mug will give you water breathing as well as Dauphin's Grace, the Night Rouch Mug will give you night vision and will rest it, the Ice Beer Mug will give you frosty, the Quest Mug will give you health boost and saturation, the Leprechaun Cider Mug will give you luck, the Chorus Ale Mug will give you levitation and slow falling, and the Nether Star Lager Mug will give you flight. The Wither Touch effect lets you apply a Wither effect on mobs or players upon hitting them. The Traction effect will pull items towards you. The Frosty effect will turn water below you into ice. The Flight effect lets you fly for some time. The Will Rested effect prevents phantoms from spawning. This covers all the information about the mod. It is not such a large mod that adds an overwhelming number of new features, but to me the mod seems really well thought out. The new mechanics and plans are unique and well designed. I honestly think the mod fits perfectly in a vanilla themed Minecraft mod pack. So if you are interested in such a mechanic and new drinks for your Minecraft survival adventure, I recommend you try this mod out. Thanks for watching, if you don't want to miss any further reviews, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.